what's up guys, King Racer here. Today I'm back with a brand new barn find videos. And today I got a major score at my thrift shop store. I got some Majorette, some Matchbox, some Hot Wheels, some bags of toy cars, and some other brands like Kidco and Play Art, and a full box full of vintage diecast model cars. And we're gonna take a look at all of them in a second. Let's take a look at the first vehicle. This is the Majorette Chevy uh, Blazer, I think. Square body truck. This is a Zamac version with the American flag. This was used to be a Bigfoot truck. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this base apart and I'm gonna put the regular base on it and put the fog lights on the back. It will make a nice custom vehicle and this is why I picked up this model because I love the heart and the paint on it. So pretty cool model, all metal of course, typical from major malls. Here we have this uh, weird looking monster truck, I think it's from Maisto, not too sure, with big rubber tires, missing a fog light in the front, and uh, some nice uh, red, yellow and orange livery, it says Hickley, number 100 on it. Next we have this brown Porsche 911 Turbo with opening doors. I think this one says made in China, but looks quite similar to uh, maybe a Yatning or Tomica casting. Looks very detailed. Speaking of Tomica, I think I have one right here. Yeah, this is a Tomica. Another Porsche. This one's 928. Missing a A pillar in the front. Opening doors. Nice red rims. This portion in the back so now as you can see I'm going a little bit faster because the last video take about like 15 minutes to render so I tried to make this video a little bit shorter this time here we have another Tonica this is the uh, Shinnikal fire engine in red still have the gun on top so if you want to take a closer look at the model you can always pause the video next we have a little youngster here the all wheels 500 I think Formula Hot Wheel car, very nice condition. Hot Wheels get a letter, US mail van. Still have openings doors in the back, however, they are not rebootable to be a uh, very good at opening up. And this is a uh, matchbox uh, with this camper, mobile camper. Nice model. Simple white color for this vehicle. Here we have a play art bulldozer, so I have the original treads. Nice color combination. A little bit of chips on the front and on the roof. But it is definitely not as this Volkswagen van that definitely seen better days. And look at this. The paint is literally peeling off this model. So I don't know what the heck happened, but uh, I picked it up because I like this model and still have the, uh, the thing in the back here, the opening hatch, which is the first thing to go on this model. Here we have another, uh, this is a Japanese car, Datsun, looks like uh, something missing in the front. The bumper, Datsun 200SX. This vehicle is an opening, I have an opening hood. Here we go. Nice car. Here we have the Valvoline race car number 21. This is the uh, what is this Thunderbird Stalker. Nice gold hot ones on this one. Love the paint job. Front running Fairmont. This is also a nice model. Nice red paint job number 27. With lots of sponsors like Firestone, Ford, Champion. I think um, this is Mobile or Penzo Oil in the front. And another one here, Dodge Marauder, number 10, good year for this one. Always love those big hollow casting, very heavy, got on the track, rolls very nicely. This is a Matchbox Corvette, C4 Corvette, need a muckle. Suspension on this guy. Majorette Shell Tanker, quite uncommon to see it with the uh, 
white truck. Normally we'll have a yellow truck to come with this one. I didn't find the little trailer that come with it, but that's all right. Oh yeah, this is also a very nice model, the Toyota MR2. I think the second generation for this one. I'm not sure. This one has the steering wheel on the right side. And I think I have two of those. Yeah, the other one is right here. So I'm gonna keep one and sell the other one to my friend. Very nice heavy casting from Hot Wheels, the Hot Wheels Peterbilt tanker. Still have the original hose nozzle in the back. Uh, this one says California Construction Company. And this is a pretty, pretty heavy casting for you guys who know this vehicle. This is one of my favorite, the Major Red Toyota pickup truck with the regular base. So this is a correct version. Still have the original side view mirrors. Nice front grille. The uh, only thing is busted in the back is the little tow hitch. But that's right. No big deal for this one. This is normally a common vehicle to find everywhere. This is a Maisto school bus, but this one have real riders for some reason. So it's probably a pullback vehicle, but the back here is demolished, so I don't know. Probably the old guy make a little modification to it and make it one roll more in the back normally. So you remove the uh, mechanism. Next we, uh, next we have this, uh, is this a Ford Transit, I think. Ford Transit bus. This one has the uh, minivan style opening door. I think I have also another casting. I have multiple of this one, actually. I have this guy. I have this one here, which is the, the towing truck. And I have also a few versions in the Sonic Flasher collection. I have this guy here, the uh, Fire District number six. Unfortunately, all of these Sonic Flashers are not working, so we'll have to replace the battery. This is a police van version. And I think I also have an ambulance. I don't see it. Oh, there we go. There she is. Ambulance. Of course, all of them have black dot windows because the they don't have interiors. And this is another flasher. This is a Ford Bronco Sheriff unit. Pretty nice condition. So unfortunate that this one is not working. Uh, this one, Hot Wheels, Peter Built, Santa Mixer. This is pretty interesting. This vehicle, the cab is almost demolished condition, but still have the back attached to it solidly. And in Hong Kong, yeah, a lot of chips on it. So, uh, and this one is the uh, other style truck uh, with the uh, little trailer. This is the uh, moving studio. Hey, it will be perfect for my King Racer 007 uh, tower. We'll park this truck right outside and make it like the uh, official studio truck. Hot Wheels uh, garbage truck. Department of Sanitation. Looks like an old Peterbilt flat nose truck. This is a nice model here. The Matchbox uh, pickup. Uh, what is this name? Open back truck. Maybe based on the old Ford F1 F-Series. Excuse me. Still have the spare tire in the back with the little uh, rack here. This one has rear windows. I don't remember if all of these have rear windows, but I have to find this later. This is a nice model too. This is the Buick LeSabre. Stock car, pretty nice condition on this one. 355 CDA, number four. The Bell Champion, nice car, I love it. This is an old Ford station wagon. Doesn't say anything on the base. Hmm, maybe a Yatning car, I'm not sure. I think we saw a lot of these in the police livery, but this one with the wood panel on the side, not too often. Here we have two Mercedes Unimog, one from Majorette, this orange one with the moving plow and metal. And we have this Matchbox version in white. They're pretty cool. Two different manufacturers, same model. Oh yeah, this is also a pretty nice little car here. This is the Yatmin Corvette, first generation. With the opening doors. Uh, it's kind of missing a bit of the front bumper in the back. Bumper too. 
in Hong Kong 1957 Corvette from Yatning. Oh, wait a second. Mm, yeah, it's probably a Yatning. Same wheels. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Big deal. All wheels, real rider. This is the high raker Ford, I think 32 Ford. Hot rod car, and I have another real rider for you. This one here, however, the front tire, front right tire is completely demolished. I don't know what the heck happened, but uh, the rest are pretty good, however. This is the, this one is the Jeep Scrambler. A nice gray, or more like a silver color, excuse me. Ooh, 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 and this one's also very nice. Love those cars. This is a near mint Porsche 911 Turbo also, I think, yes. From Matchbox, pretty, very nice condition. Number 14, Bus. Same thing for this one, this is the Challenger. Toys Man. Still have the roof. No crack on the windows, nice wheels, nice base. I would have loved to found this one in mint condition, but... Uh, that's another story, maybe another day. Love this car in blue. And then we have this very interesting caterpillar wheel loader. Our articulation and play value. It just says made in China. But uh, this is nice for the construction diorama. Majorette uh, Land Rover. Very common model here to find in Quebec City. But this one still has the door in the back with the spare tire, so that's a pretty nice find. It's missing the roof rack on the top, but that's okay. This one's pretty nice condition, no very, not a lot of chips on it. Uh, this one's a Zilmec uh, Citroën, uh, not DS, uh, Citroën SM, I think. Orange. Next, Earl Brown pickup. It says Universal Studio on the base, but I don't know from which movie this truck is. If you know, tell me in the comment section down below. Matchbox M lens. Nothing special to say about this guy. Our Matchbox. This is the fire transport vehicle, something. Transport service. Oh, we have a fire eater. Very, very, very common vehicle to find. This one's a pretty decent condition, however. Malaysia base, nothing special for this one. Uh, another Matchbox fire department vehicle, a paramedic. Love this vehicle. A lot of metal on it, and still have the original light bar. Yeah, this is also a very nice model from Hot Wheels. This is the old fire truck, old number five. This one has the mesh grill on it, so I. Uh, I have one of these already, but the ladders are busted, so this is a pretty decent condition one. For the collection, 4A LTD Crown Victoria, a very, very nice condition police car. Love this one. Here we have a Mage Red Caravan, still have the door in the back. Open up. Uh, probably have to attach it to a pickup truck in my collection. Another Porsche from Matchbox. Yeah, nice pearl white for this guy. This is the 959 Mid Mako. Husky mill truck with the uh, very whole wheels on it. Matchbox Jeep Cherokee. Little youngster. Same thing for this uh, red Corvette from Hot Wheels. Our youngsters, the major at uh, Toyota FG Cruiser in a nice white but with the horrible wheels. Bling bling wish wheels. Oh, this is a uh, what is this London taxi made in China. I thought it was a Corgi, but it's not. But this one has the uh, openings, suicide doors. Oh my god, they're kind of stuck. There we go. Oh my god. <laughs> I thought it was a spider <laughs> at first, but. Uh, Fortunately, it is not. Hot Wheels uh, Ford flat nose towing truck. Some cosine. 
Uh, matchbox for transit van, body and paint, little youngster again. Same for this Camaro, but this one I found in particular because the paint was more magenta than metallic red. So maybe it's just the uh, paint factories do something. But I found it interesting anyways, so uh, I got it for a few, for nothing. So uh, this is another matchbox fire truck, water pumper, this is the uh, the truck that we will see on the uh, hard work in the 2000 cars, I think, was the Matchbox fire pumper, uh, water pumper. Anyway, oh, blue Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution, nice little Japanese car. Matchbox, uh, Matchbox. Oh my God, Majorette Bank Security. Very nice condition. The door is busted in the back, but uh, otherwise, this truck is cherry. Matchbox dump truck, all metal. Always nice to pick them up for a quarry or the diorama. Ooh, this is an interesting F1 car, sport, gasoline, and me. Ooh, looks like the uh, driver got decapitated, but <laughs> okay. Goodbye. Ford, holy or goody. This is how we'll need streeter. Uh, I think the interior is still inside a car, but it's just uh, this place, we'll see. Interesting car. Uh, this is the Dodge Ram Power or something. From Hot Wheels again. With the black walls, all the tampos are pretty much gone. But, uh, it's not always nice to get these for customs or something. Same thing for this guy, this is the uh, Fire Chief from Hot Wheels. Tempo was all gone, but the car doesn't have too many chips on it. Ooh, major red London bus. It's a male part, the rest is plastic. Uh, Matchbox Peterbilt Sima Mixer. Interesting. But again, a little youngster. Same thing for this uh, GMC. Uh, Telephone post truck, something. I always like those uh, old uh, heavy duty wheels. I wish Matchbox will bring them back. Uh, oh, Fire Chief, uh, Matchbox Chevrolet Tau, I believe. El Segundo Fire Chief, so pretty nice. Oh, little youngster here, How Wheels GMC Motorhome. News van. Pretty nice. Youngster again. Oh, here we go. Yeah, we have an old car here, with the opening parts. Kidco, made in Mako, yes, we have a couple of Makos. Kidco is here, like this uh, Firebird here, Ooh, there we go, opening hood. Nice car, uh, I think this Corvette also. Two Corvettes, one with flames in blue. Oh, pretty nice car, also have this other Corvette here. A lot of opening parts on the kid co cars. They all have plastic base, however, but uh, you know. All wheels, Chevy Tau, Police, SUV, little youngster again. Yatming Chevrolet step side. Still have the opening tailgate. Some nice model. Uh, this is a weird Alfa Romeo car with the, this back here. Made in Hong Kong. Interesting. Of course, the scale and proportions are totally off of this car, but still interesting. Oh, play out. I think this is the what is this? Opel GT. Almost somebody wants to make a custom Zamac version, but it failed miserably. Fortunately, unfortunately, of course. Oh, nice uh, low rider purple Cadillac. Little youngster from Hot Wheels. Texaco Ford Carry, yeah, made in Hong Kong. Interesting car. I don't know which manufacturer made this one, but uh, interesting car. Yellow windows, number 93. Ooh, Corvette, youngster from Hot Wheels. Another youngster, Hot Wheels Corvette in blue. Uh, this one is the Cunningham 
C4R. I already have one in white, but I didn't have the metallic blue version, so interesting for me to get it. Chevelle El Camino from High Wheels. Majorette Porsche 911 Turbo. This is a 2000 Majorette, so not as old as the other ones. And lastly, we have two of these trailer here, construction trailer, one in orange and one in yellow. Two different set of wheels on both of them. All right, so I'm gonna switch the bags and then I'm gonna take a look at the older trucks. All right, first bag. Lamborghini Countach from Majorette. Nice condition. Matchbox Oshkosh cement mixer. I had this one when I was a kid. So I'm happy to have found that one. Mercedes Benz uh, convertible with this the 500 SL. This guy have a uh, opening hood featuring a plastic engine. A real toy Chevy Suburban, nothing special for this guy. Uh, oh my god. Uh, Chinese car, very uninteresting. So this one's gonna go right to the uh, selling pile. And the last one is this guy, the Chevrolet Impala. Taxi. I'm gonna have to replace the windows because they're all messed up. But otherwise, the car still has open doors. Is the phone number if you want to call them. <laughs> anyway, first bag. Next one. Little youngster, Hot Wheels Ford Mustang. Matchbox Fire Rig or 2006 Fire Engine. Mercedes Benz from Majorette in a nice apple green. Made in France. Oh, this is the reason why I picked up this bag. This is the old uh, Matchbox London bus with this old sticker. Very nice model. I love it. And this is the all metal casting, except the base, of course. A uh, little youngster here, Hot Wheels Corvette. Oh, this is a metallic green Camaro. Youngster again. A very very small scale truck. This car here, and the last one is the Matrix again. This is the uh, Land Rover Fire Rescue. Very common model here to find, but still nice to get it. Third bag. Couple other youngster Hot Wheels car. However, they are very nice classic muscle. This is the 442. Nice brown color. And we also have this uh, purple Mercury Cougar Eliminator. Oh, Oldsmobile 442 in the yellow. Oh, this is the uh, Eleanor style body kit for the Mustang Shelby 67 GT500. Oh, yes, this is the reason why I picked up this bag. Vintage Yatming Mustang. First generation, nice opening doors, all metal, and near mint condition. Does have a few chips on it, but uh, all, otherwise, this is a pretty, very nice piece to add to my collection. Oh, they also have this little uh, Jeep here, a little bit rougher condition, but still pretty nice. Still have this spare tire in the back, and uh, all metal. When can you have more? Uh, all metal, very nicely detailed casting. Uh, this is a Matchbox Ford Raptor and the ugly uh, fantasy car. I don't really care about. Uh, I'll take a look at this big truck and then I'm going to take a look at the last bag. And then I'm going to take a look at the other trucks I have. This is the first time I saw this vehicle. This is a pretty Uncommon vehicle to find for me. This is an old Mack truck. Fortunately, missing all rubber tires except the these right here. 
had opening the hood. Very nice detail, and it is a Corgi. Corgi Major Mack truck. Made in Great Britain. So, pretty interesting piece here. This is metal, the base is metal. This part here is metal. The cab is metal. The hood is metal. So, this thing <laughs> is a ridiculously heavy truck. But, uh, very nice truck. I'm gonna try to find maybe reproduction tires for this truck. Put it back there. And maybe perhaps when I go back to the thrift shop store, I can find the trailers that comes with this particular Mack truck. And I will update you guys if I can find it. Oop, looks like the hood is opening uh, alone. So anyway, very, very nice find for this guy. And last bag. Oh yes, this is nice stuff. Majorette Citroën CX in a nice burgundy red color this one have the insert steering wheel I believe or maybe it's part of the dash yes yeah, probably part of the dash there we go nicely details all wheels on it you can see here a nice license plate pretty dope car also pretty dope is this car here this is the Honda Hakar in yellow I have a rare version in pink but this is the more common version fine in yellow and there's also a green version to find so I'm gonna have to check out to get the green version and I also have this uh, very nice uh, I think Toyota light haze van this one this one is shiny man shiny doesn't have a scratch on it look at its front bumper just perfect. And this base so shiny, man. This, this thing's beautiful. Love it. Oh, Lightning McQueen, plastic. Uh, Maystone Mustang. Nothing interesting here. Oh, old Chevy Vega from Hot Wheels. Little youngster. McLaren P1 in yellow. Uh, maybe this one is nice. The uh, Hot Wheels Willis drag car now, this one's gonna probably gonna go to my collection I don't have this sample but the other one's gonna go to the selling part all right last vehicle to take a look at my big trucks right over there so first larger vehicle to look at here is this matchbox this is a very very old truck this is a super king king size excuse me Dodge tractor Made in Lesney, England. Same thing for the trailer. Articulated horse van. So I have the stickers. Os Esco Staples. I don't know how to pronounce it. Still have the uh, hair horns on top of the truck. It's missing quite a bit of rubber tires. But uh, that's alright. Also missing the back door. But still have the side door. However. And normally it's supposed to open up. Well, too many uh, fighting on it, but it looks like it doesn't want to open up, of course, because of the video. Here we go. So if you have some horse quarry, just put it on the truck, and then you're ready to hit the road. Next one, uh, I'm going to take a look at this little guy here, because it's quite a bit rare. And it's a Canadian exclusive. This is the Majorette 600 series Kenworth truck, with, of course, the red rims as they are famous for and this one is Le Groupe Rona this is a uh, company from here in Quebec this is the uh, uh, what is this a hardware department store looks like and this one still has the original sticker on it nice red rims all metal chassis and of course the can work have an opening diesel hood featuring maybe a caterpillar engine some cord. So pretty nice to find this truck as rare as it is. Next we have this Matchbox Super King shell truck. Uh, this is a Ford casting truck. Single axle in the back. A nice long vehicle shell trailer. 
This is a pretty heavy truck and trailer featuring a, a yellow metal base. And uh, I think this is also metal. No, I think this is plastic, actually. The truck have an opening hood. However, I believe it's dark. Or maybe I have to push this back to open it. Let's see. Ah, there we go. Ah, that's interesting. You have to push this back to open on the hood. I didn't know. Excuse me, folks. Love matchbox vehicles. So there it is. And my favorite, of course, because I'm a major collector, is this guy here. This big Scania and Petro Canada. Big heavy trailer. Look at the details in the back of this thing. Still have the ladder and the hose. Nice heavy piece. I'm gonna show you the engine. Look at this beautiful shine chrome. Yeah, fantastic looking truck. Very happy to find this guy. And the last one, uh, oh, I almost forget. This uh, Maze Red Fire Truck. I only have a few of this model here, but uh, this one's gonna be probably a part vehicle because my other one has a busted cab. So I'm gonna probably use the part of this truck here. Still have the uh, hair horns, little cherry on the top. Nice cab. This one says Fire Department, New York. Ladder number five. As you can see, this truck features four legs. We pull down when you normally rotate the ladder on the top of the truck. Fortunately, mine is busted. But uh, you still have this little part here. That normally you will spin around and you have a little steering wheel for the wheels on the front of the truck. And this thing, of course, metal cab, metal bottom, metal arm, metal leg, metal base. So can you guess how heavy, stupidly heavy this thing is? But anyway, that's all we love the old toys because they were robust and well made and made with durable and quality metal, not plastic like today vehicles unfortunately so that's it guys this was my massive thrift shop value village vintage toy car barn fine so i hope you enjoyed the video i will see you guys in the next stop motion video or barn fine videos so we see you soon